Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve question number third, a fixed size 4.4. And the question is: Is it possible to design a rectangular mango groove whose length is twice its breadth and the area is 800 meter square? If so, find its length and breadth. In this question, you have to check whether it is possible to form a rectangular groove whose length is twice its breadth means this length is twice of this breadth so if the breadth is x so clearly the length will be twice of this value x and the area of this rectangular groove is given as 800 meter square and the area of the rectangle we know that is basically length into breadth here the length is 2x and the breadth is x and the area is given as 800 meter square so this will be 2 into x into x so this will be 2x square which is equals to 800 this term and this term are same just I have uh, shifted the, this term to that side and this term to this side. So this doesn't make any difference to this term. So now if I cancel this 2 with 800 which is 400. So x square is basically 400. And if you want to find the value of x, we have to under root both the sides. And this under root and square will be cancelled out on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, the value of x will be root. 400. So the value of x can be plus minus 20. So here the value of x can be positive 20 or negative 20. And in this question we have to uh, make this uh, value or you can say you have to prove that whether this design is accurate or not. For that, we our equation is basically this one, which says 2x square is equals to 800. If I shift this to this side, this will be 2x square minus 800 is equals to 0. So this is our standard quadratic equation because here the maximum power of x is 2 so this is our quadratic equation and if the value of x in this case are real so obviously this equation will be means this condition will be okay means this uh, we can uh, form a rectangular groove having length twice its breadth so you have to check whether the roots of this equation are real or not means the value of x is real or not for that we know that very standard quadratic equation has form ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 and if I find the value of discriminant which is b square minus 4ac and if the value of d is equals to 0 or d is greater than 1 in this case the roots are real so check let's check what should be the value of d comparing this equation with this the coefficient of x square which is a is equals to 2 and the coefficient of x which is not available so b should be 0 and the constant c here is minus 800 and now, now let's find the uh, value of d so the value of d which is b square minus 4ac should be equals to 0 or greater than 1 so b here is 0 so 0 square minus 4 a here is 2 and c is 800 so this is equals to 0 so minus minus is plus and 4 to the 8 into 8 6400 is equal to 0. So clearly the value of 
uh, this is the value of b the value of d and the value of d so clearly the value of d here is 6400 which is a positive number means the value of d is greater than 1 so we know that in this case the roots of this equation or you can say the value of x is real or if the value of x is real so clearly this condition satisfies so clearly or we have already found find the value of x which is whether that could be plus 20 or minus 20 so clearly the breadth of any rectangle cannot be negative so the breadth of this must be 20 so clearly the length should be 40 meters so this should be 20 meters and this should be 40 meters so clearly we can form this group thank you